my sensors indicate a new episode of Dave's Vintage Apple Tech has just been uploaded. Hi guys, this is Dave from Dave's Vintage Apple Tech. And as you know, this uh, recently Apple announced their new operating system called Big Sur Operating System 11. No more 10.9, 10.14, it's actually 11 now. And there certainly has been a lot of controversy on the name Big Sur, or Big Sur rather, excuse me. And so I'd just like to take a little time out maybe to kind of explain something to everybody out there. Um, Big Sur is a rugged and mountainous terrain of the central coast of California. And it's kind of runs between uh, Carmel Highlands, San Simeon, and where the Santa Luca Mountains rise above the Pacific Ocean. And it's frequently praised for its dramatic scenery. Uh, Big Sur has been called the longest and most scenic stretch of undeveloped coastline in the continuous United States, and it is designated a national treasure. Um, now, if you're not familiar with California geography, when you hear Big Sur, it brings a lot of different things to people's minds. And so a lot of times they figure, why in the heck would they call it that? And, you know, way back in the day, when we had System 1, 2, all up to 7, and then we went to OS 8, OS 9, and then OS 9.2, then we made the jump to 10. I remember way, way back when we did that, it started with the public beta version of Kodiak. Then it went with uh, Cheetah. Then the next version was Puma, Jaguar, Panther, Tiger, Leopard, Snow Leopard, Lion, Mountain Lion, and then we went to Mavericks because we ran out of the names of cats. The old cat names were my favorite. It was, I was always excited to hear what are they going to call the next version of software. Then we went to scenery. We went to uh, Yosemite, El Capitan, Sierra, High Sierra, Mojave, Catalina, and now Big Sur. So, guys, you know, Apple has their reasoning. I'm not defending them. Uh, everybody's entitled to their opinion. Uh, but here, living out in California, when they called it Big Sur, that's, that's a huge, huge geographical area. And maybe that's why they decided to call it that, because it's one of the biggest landmarks there is in the state of California. So, um, it's just, uh, you know, it's a... It's a, it's, it's a big, it's a huge area, it's beautiful. Um, if you guys ever Google it or actually come out and visit, uh, it's, it's just very impressive, this terrain and how long it runs. And it's beautiful. I mean, I'm originally from Indiana when I first moved out here back in 85, and I heard that name, I go, what is that? And so somebody had to explain it to me. So after living out here all the years, okay, well, that makes more sense. But, um, you know, Big Sur is the new operating system. Unfortunately, my Mac back there, it's a late 2013, 27 inch. And according to Apple, they dropped support on that. So now it starts at 2014, which is kind of a bummer. So I'm gonna have to get a patch to run that, which I know somebody out there will do it soon. So yeah, so guys, this has just been kind of a, something that I've just been kind of brewing in my head. Um, I just wanted to kind of tell you what what that means and like I said I think they, they picked this name because it is such a revolutionary operating system because they're gonna start merging all the iOS's into it making it all look the same which is makes sense you know where I have 50 different operating systems when you can have similar things all in one device makes sense to me and I think that's the way a lot of companies probably will be headed in the future. But Apple being Apple, they try to do things differently. You know, uh, they're always copied on a lot of things. 
a lot of people criticize Apple sometimes that, oh, well, you know, they don't come up with anything new and stuff. And, and that's true. But when they do come up with it, usually it's, most of the time it's pretty good. You know, once in a while they, they have a dud. Um, but uh, it is what it is. So anyway, guys, um, I just hope this clarifies it for you a little bit. Maybe it makes a little bit more sense to you. Um, I'm excited to, to try that new operating system. Uh, I'm a beta user, but now I'm not going to be able to get it on my machine. I have to get me an updated Mac to, uh, to run it. So anyway, guys, um, hope this was uh, informational to you. And uh, you guys have a wonderful weekend. And again, this is Dave. And uh, have a good day. Bye-bye.